the last thing you need to know, we're going to pretend that my Casey's all finished here. The last thing you need to know is how to turn this into Schoology. Please do not go up here to share and share it with me. No, do not do that. No. Okay? Because that sends me an email and it sends me your work, but I can't grade it there. I, I can't have 150 emails coming in and then me having to find your name in Schoology and enter the, uh, look at it and enter the grade. You know I have rubrics for every project. So this has to be placed in the correct place next to the rubric so I can grade it. Well, how do you do that? Well, you just download it as a, day, a JPEG. So you go over here to File. Oh, first things first, you want to get your photo out of there. I don't want to see the photo, so select the photo. And by the time it's done, you might have to zoom in and find an itty bitty little crack to click in to find that photo because this is going to be all filled in. You're going to delete that picture, and then you're going to go here, File, Download, JPEG. The JPEG is a picture. Some of your computers are going to automatically save this um, so that when you go to Select in Schoology or Submit, excuse me, Submit in Schoology, it'll just find the last thing you saved, and it'll be there. Some of you, if you're working on a home computer, might need, might, oops, sorry, I opened up the wrong one, might have to open it up. Mine opened up over here. You might have to hit the three buttons and go save as and save it. See, it wants to put it in my computer or on my desktop. Um, it'll probably put it in the downloads uh, as well, but you'll have to store it someplace. It depends on your computer. But that is how you turn this in. You um, have to turn it into a JPEG and then submit attach file JPEG. And that's how um, you will turn it into Schoology. Now, before I forget, I'm going to go backspace, put my picture back so that I can keep working on Casey here. All right. Thanks so much.